The police have carried out a controlled explosion just within the gates of Buckingham Palace right here. This is after a man threw some shotgun cartridges into the premises. He approached the gate and threw those cartridges inside. Quite unusually and quite oddly, he did not fire those shots. Apparently, he had no means to. He was, of course, overpowered immediately and arrested. But as a precaution, the police sealed off the area where those objects had been thrown into the premises and carried out a controlled explosion. The man has been arrested and is being interrogated. And this incident came just hours before a full rehearsal of the coronation parade on May the 6th. And of course, given the fact that this parade was due shortly after this incident, the police have taken extra security measures. The entire area has been cordoned off, sealed, and a great uh, and a close watch is being kept on everybody approaching this area to make sure that there is no disruption or intrusion into the rehearsal that is underway now already. This, of course, is an incident that will set off some alarm bells because it comes in the midst of a lot of protests underway against the coronation and the police will want to make sure that none of this anger spills over into any incident that disrupts the proceedings on coronation day. The man did not seem to have got as far as earlier intruders. In fact, he didn't get past the gate. On one occasion, a man had gotten into the premises and right into the palace, in fact, into the bedroom of the late queen. He woke her up and he sat on her bed and had a conversation with her. That's the furthest anyone seems to have got. We had a Sikh who entered these premises uh, right here behind and he was trying to express his anger over Janiyawala Bagh and try and confront the royalty and whatever royalty he could find. All he ran into was a policeman who then escorted him out. We had a man who dressed up as Batman and gotten into the palace premises and posed for people who were looking out for royalty within and found him instead. But of course, uh, given the timing now and the fact that it's just days to go before the coronation, the police are not taking chances with any further intrusions or any attempt to get into the palace. The last one year for 52 weeks, we've been number one across time bands, across our different data points across different uh, viewer segments. The fact that for the last entire year, we have dominated the ratings, there is no parallel to this. One year of non-stop, undefeated, unbeaten number one. I think it's a, it's a great testament to the, to the young team here at CNN News 18. This is great validation for us and for this young team here to continue on this path and to continue bringing you stories that we believe are making a difference to your lives.